Hi there, and welcome back to the 3B Group. Today, we're talking about something really important, the U.S. Citizenship Interview. This is the last step to become a U.S. citizen, and the government wants to make sure you meet all the requirements. If you're getting ready for your citizenship interview and want to be super ready, you're in the right place. We're the 3B Group, and we'll be your guide through the real U.S. citizenship interview process. In this video, we'll share our experience to help you prepare for your interview. Whether you're on the journey to become a U.S. citizen or just curious, this video is made just for you. We'll talk about real USCIS interview situations, give you tips and tricks, and make sure you feel confident when you walk into that interview room. And hey, if you're interested in this journey, don't forget to hit subscribe, click the notification bell, and join our community of people aiming to become proud US citizens. Let's start this journey together. Good morning. How can I assist you today? Good morning. I'm here for my citizenship interview. Can I have your appointment letter and ID, please? Sure. Here they are. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me check your information on our system. Do you have your green card with you? Yes, I do. Here it is. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, I got your information. Now I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Could you kindly take a step forward and focus your attention on the camera ahead of you? Sure. All right. Now, could you please place your index finger from the right hand on the scanner? Sure. Now, your left index finger, please. Everything is perfect. Take your notice and your ID back with you and wait your turn. The officer should be here in a moment. Thank you again. You are most welcome. Francoise and Anaïs Lily. Yes, it's me. Hi, Lily. I'm Immigration Officer William Henry. And I'll be conducting your interview today. How are you doing? Hi, I'm doing great, and I appreciate you checking in. How are you doing? I'm doing well too, thank you. 
Please come in and remain standing. You can place your belongings next to the chair. Thank you. Before we start the interview, I'm going to place you under oath. Could you please raise your right hand? Sure. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth and nothing but the truth? Yes, I do. Please take your seat. Thank you. You're welcome. How was your travel to this place? The journey to this location was smooth with no significant issues or delays. That's great! Did you engage in any enjoyable activities over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. Good. Can I have your appointment notice, your green card, and state-issued ID such as a driver's license and your passport? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, do you have any questions before we start the interview? No, officer. Now tell me, what is the purpose of your U.S. citizenship interview? The purpose of my citizenship interview is to demonstrate my eligibility and commitment to becoming a U.S. citizen. Why do you want to be an American citizen? I would like to apply for government jobs, register to vote, and travel without the restrictions. That's great! When did you become a lawful permanent resident? October 10, 2018. How did you get your green card? By Diversity Visa Program. All right. Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. What is your current legal name? Francois a nice Lily. Is Lily your last name? Yes. What is your first name? Francois. What is your middle name? Anais. How do you spell your last name? F R A N. C O I S E. Have you used any other names since you got your green card? No, I haven't used any other name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So, would you like to change your current name? I do not want to change my name. What is your date of birth? November 21st, 1998. What is the best phone number to reach you at? 7659959370. Have any of your trips outside the United States been long longer than six months? No. Are one or both of your parents a U.S. citizen? No. How tall are you and how much do you weigh? 
I am 5'3 and 115 pounds. What is your country of birth? France. What is your country of citizenship or nationality? France. All right. Do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. What is your job? I am a customer service associate. Who is your current employer? Wawa, Bridgeton. Where is it located and what products or services the company does offer? It is located at 1090 State Highway 77, Bridgeton, New Jersey. 08302. It is a popular convenience store in the USA, known for its fresh and made to order food offering. How long have you been working there? Since August 2019. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? No, that's it. Can you confirm your social security number? 31289-5751 What is your current mailing address? 291 North Laurel Street, Bridgeton, New Jersey, 08302 So we will use that mailing address to contact you throughout the naturalization process? Yes. Have you moved in the past three months? No. How long have you been living there? I have been living there since 2021. What is your previous address? 126 South 4th Street, Millville, New Jersey, 08332. When did you move from this previous address? On the first week of June 2021. What is your current marital status? Married. How many times have you been married? I have been married twice. On what date did you wed your current spouse? I married my current spouse on the 9th of March 2020. Where did you get married? Hudson House, Jersey City, New Jersey. Can I see your original marriage certificate, please? Sure, here you go. Did you bring any documents to prove your marriage is legitimate? Yes. I brought our tax returns for the last three years, joint bank statements. Mortgage statement with both of our names on it, my health insurance copies, and some wedding photos. Okay, thank you. What is your current spouse's legal name? Bracken Deacon. What is your current spouse's date of birth? March 19, 1991. What is your current spouse's current address? My spouse's current address is the same as my current address. Is your current spouse a U.S. citizen? 
Yes, he is a U.S. citizen by birth. Where did you get your previous married? Toulouse, France. How did the previous marriage conclude? The previous marriage ended amicably through mutual understanding. Well, do you have your divorce decree with you? Yeah, I do have it. Can I see it? Sure, here you go. Thank you. You're welcome. What is your current spouse's current job? He is an assistant store manager at Rite Aid of New Jersey, Inc. All right. How many children do you have? I have a son with my current spouse. Great. He was born in the United States, correct? Correct. Can I have his birth certificate? Sure, here it is. Thank you. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Do you have any children with your ex-husband? No. All right. All right. Have you taken any trip outside the United States in the last five years? Yes, I have gone on a few trips. Where and when was the last trip? Traveled to Canada in October 2022. We just spent one week there. What was the purpose of your last trip? Celebrated my birthday with my husband. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks. Indeed, we had a great time enjoying it. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly? Or indirectly with any other totalitarian party? No, never. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No. Do you now have, or did you ever have, a hereditary title or an order of nobility in any foreign country? No, I don't. Were you ever involved in any way with torture? No, never. What does torture mean? To hurt someone physically. What does weapon mean? It's mean a knife or a gun. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? It means that I promise to love my country in good times and in bad time. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or a soldier in a prison or jail? No, officer. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Were you ever involved in any way with genocide? 
No. What does it mean to involve? To take part in. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, officer. Have you ever registered to vote in any federal, state, or local elections in the United States? No. Have you ever claimed to be a U.S. citizen? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I have a traffic ticket. How many traffic tickets do you have, and what were the reasons for the citations? I have one traffic ticket that is in 2022 for talking on a cell phone while driving. How much were that tickets, and how did you resolve that? It was one hundred dollars, which I paid right away. Okay, great. That's not a problem. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No, never. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with a terrorist organization? No, never. Do you know what is a terrorist organization? Yes, I do. An organization that uses violence against people. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What is public benefit? Welfare like food stamps, housing, education, healthcare. Have you ever been a member of or in any way associated either directly or indirectly with the Communist Party? No, never. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No, never. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No. 
Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal state or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I'm willing to. Great. Now let's start the civics test. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready, but a little bit nervous. Have you studied? Yes, I studied since I've applied. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 official civics questions, 2008 version. That's the correct one. Do you have any questions before we start? No. So, are you ready for the test? Yes, I am ready for the test. All right, I'll ask up to 10 questions and you pass if you can give six correct answers. And you can just provide one answer. Please say the answers loudly for me. First question. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. How many justices are on the Supreme Court? Seven. Sorry, that's not correct. Let's try another question. Why did the colonists fight the British? Because they didn't have self-government. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star-Spangled Banner. What does the president's cabinet do? Advises the president. When must all men register for the selective service? Between 18 and 26. What is the name of the Speaker of the House of Representatives now? Mike Johnson. Who makes federal laws? Congress. Well, you got more than six questions correct, so you passed the civics test portion. Thank you. Now we're going to do the English reading and writing tests. You need to get one out of three sentences correct to pass. I'm going to show you a sentence on the tablet and I want you to read it back to me. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. For the reading portion. What country is to the south of the United States? Now I want you to write the sentence down on the tablet that I'm going to say out loud. Listen carefully to the sentence that I'll say. Okay. Mexico is to the south of the United States. Can you repeat it one more time for me, please? 
Mexico is to the south of the United States. Excellent. Thank you. I've updated some of the sections. I want you to review all of the information on the tablet to make sure it's accurate. Let me know if there are any mistakes. Okay. Yes, everything looks good. Great. Then please sign the box on the tablet to affirm that everything you've said during the interview and all of the evidence that you've submitted is complete and true. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Make sure you agree to all of the statements. Then you can print your name and sign and date on the tablet. Okay. Thank you. Just wait for a minute. I need to run a quick background check and copy all of your documents. I will be right back. Sure, not a problem. All right. Thank you for your patience. I've completed all of your copies. So here are all of your originals and I have your test results with me. Congratulations. You have passed the interview. Here's the copy of your test result. Thank you. Now we can administer the oath. Yes, that would be great. Please stand up, raise your right hand, and repeat after me. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce. I hereby declare, on oath, that I absolutely and entirely renounce and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince and abjure all allegiance and fidelity to any foreign prince potentate state or sovereignty of whom or which i have heretofore been a subject or citizen potentate state or sovereignty of whom or which i have heretofore been a subject or citizen that I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies. That I will support and defend the Constitution and laws of the United States of America against all enemies. Foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same. Foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same that I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will bear arms on behalf of the United States when required by the law. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. That I will perform non-combatant service in the armed forces of the United States. When required by the law when required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law. That I will perform work of national importance under civilian direction when required by the law. And that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I take this obligation freely, without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion. 
So help me God. So help me God. Congratulations. From now you are officially a U.S. citizen. Thank you, officer. I can give you back your paperwork, but I must keep you green card. Now I will print your naturalization certificate. It will take some time to print. So please wait for a while in the waiting area. Sure. After receiving your naturalization certificate, do not forget to check its accuracy before you sign in. And you must sign it with a black ink pen. Okay. Just couple of other things you need to do. You need to update your social security status and to register to vote. I will do. You can also apply for your passport if you have any plan to travel outside of the United States. Thank you. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I don't have any questions. Thanks again. Let me walk you out. <laughs>